saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever No matter what the weather We're together How's it going guys? This is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. So that was just a little montage I threw in of me building my base. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, real quick, that song, by the way, is a little bit of an Easter egg because there is a, it's, it's a song that some of you may know. And so if you do, leave a comment in the description. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get started. Guys, I have got a 156 Tech Rex. It is somewhere right here. Where'd it go? And it's actually not a bad looking one. Most of the tech dinos I really think look stupid, but this one's pretty sweet. It's blue and silver with like little pink highlights on the inside. So uh, it's literally right by my base and Splashy said that uh, uh, sent me a message saying, hey, there's a, a tech rex right by your base if you want to tame it I think he's living on a raft and he just saw it from the from out on his raft. So my plan is There we go. My plan is to start hitting it and kind of drag it up towards my base um, I don't know. I, I I think my trap I think it can walk right out of the trap because 
part of my trap is only one high. So I'm gonna Oh that <laughs> that hyena don flew. Okay, let's try to get him up this way. Come back this way, buddy. Uh so yeah, I'm gonna try to just get him up kind of up near that trap. Even if I get him in the trap for a little bit, I he'll usually you can kind of aggro them on you. And oh well oh, get on. I hit I hit the dismount button instead of put away the crossbow button. They're literally right next to each other. Um but yeah, I thought that I thought that would be funny. If I could get him stuck in the trap, he'll probably run out of it, but if I could kind of get him on the on the high side of it. Oh my god, not again. <laughs> okay. Uh let's try not to do that again, Jack. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come up this way. I love being able to fire from the back of this, but driving it, I'm terrible at. Okay, good. Did it a few more times. I wonder if he can follow me up this thing. So far, so good. Nice. Come up this way, buddy. Uh, but yeah, I built up my base. You saw I did double walls and double foundations and all that jazz. Um, just double. I know a lot of people probably are going triple. Some people only go single. I don't know, but it's it's easy enough to get resources. Might as well just double it up. It takes a little bit of extra time, but not like a ton or anything. Um, obviously, I did waste a little bit, but that's just because of arc, you know. It's actually funny because when I built that trap in my solo, like my single player game, I literally didn't, did not have one single bit of material wasted. But when you play on a server, I think there's just a slight amount of lag. And, and yeah, for some reason, I think that lag just kind of screwed that up. That's the only thing I can think of, because I literally did not screw it up one single time. Okay. Just let him get a shot in every once in a while. Spin him around. Oh, we're going to get him in here. I think, see, I think where this ramp is, he'll be able to walk right out. But. Come on, friend. There we go. He's in. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. See, as soon as he starts... Turns around, he's gonna walk right out. Walk right over the... There it is. Okay. That's alright. That's okay. So, I'm just using my crossbow. Guys, I have a Mastercraft crossbow. 196 damage. Which is pretty awesome. And I looked it up in Dodo Dex. This should take, like, uh... I think this should be like 46 arrows, I believe, and I had 75, so I'm not really kind of pacing my shots. I'm just kind of, I'm going to get up to about 45 arrows and slow down, or 40 arrows, I guess, and slow down. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Just keep munching on my stone. You can't hurt. It's all good. Um, okay, so the plan for taming this guy is to get prime meat raw prime meat which is kind of a uh could be a gamble because it takes 18 it needs 18 prime meat and um and so i'm gonna have to just run around killing stuff there's a couple rexes nearby i know that there's a bunch of hyena dons and hyena dons seem to get a ton of prime meat out of those guys like even more than than some other bigger creatures which is interesting um, there's a bunch of stegos. There's a bunch of obviously like RGs and stuff like that. And, and, uh, so I'm going to, I'm just going to do that. And hopefully I can, hopefully I can get enough fast enough, but this would be a nice Rex. So my plan is if I can get this Rex, I may just go kill off that other one, but <laughs> level 15 that I tamed. Cause it was outside of my base. I mean, I don't really want it. 
And the thing is, is that this server, uh, it, just to remind you, if you if you don't remember, maybe you don't know, but you're only allowed to have 25 tames. And so a level 15 Rex is trash and there's no reason to actually keep that. And I slow down a little bit. So I know I've probably hit him 40 times. And I think it was like 46. Okay. You running? Or no? Yeah, he's running. Okay. He just walked right by me. What? Come on. That was a hit. What? I even saw the little splash mark on it. You can... When you hit a tech dino, you see a little... See that little flash of, like, electricity? Okay, there's a Rex right there, by the way. That might be the 135, because there's a 135 nearby. But yeah, you see that little splash, it, but I wasn't getting the hit marker. And that's kind of what I'm saying. I always end up wasting, like... Or there's a, always, like... Five to ten hits on something that just don't register. There you go. That'd be a good spot. You could just put your face right in that rock. Now, I think our max level with tech dinos is 180. Okay, let's go get back on him. It's like 180, I want to say. So this isn't even like the best one you can get, but who knows? It could be a good one. Oh, there we go. And Sabertooth. Okay, so I'm going to put down some spike walls and stuff because there's so many like, so many things like this. Um, scorpions. Oh my God, another one? Come on, man. Annoying. Thirty-five. No wonder that took a minute. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna. I have some spike walls. I may need to make up some more, depending uh, on if I can surround this guy. If I have enough. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, go get some. Go get some prime meat and stuff. And well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait till there's obviously just a few minutes left, and then start gathering prime meat. Okay. So guys, I'm back and let's check the stats. A okay, 3740 health is terrible, but 275 melee damage? That's really good. Um run it through I'm running it through Dodo decks. That is 35 points. 35 points. That could be a good This could be good. Like 350 400 melee. Okay, guys, this thing's almost tamed up. Got it. Nice. Okay, um, so, unfortunately, I think I lost three levels because I was having a really hard time getting prime meat, guys. Um, let's, all right, let's look at his stats real quick. Um, but I was having such a hard time getting prime meat that I couldn't, like, I, I think it just ate, ended up eating a couple regular raw meat. 30, 375 guys oh yeah that's nice that's really nice 6380 is terrible but that's fine 375 melee damage is really good to start off with nice okay I'm gonna get these uh, spikes all cleared up and bring you guys back alright got this guy back oh I'm really excited about this guy uh, okay so I'm gonna take the saddle off him and oh it's a girl by the way so i can breed it i just need to get another tech rex or find somebody who wants to so find somebody who wants to do that with me okay so here's the plan guys come here uh you okay we're gonna go set this guy on like aggressive or something actually you know what guys this fall might take a lot of damage. What? That's like 75-80% dead already. Perfect. Alright, we'll just do like one more big fall. I'll bet you this fall right here kills him. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, that's one way to get rid of a tame you don't want. 
And hyenas around me. All right, let's go. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Unfortunately, it's got to be a short episode. I got some family stuff going on, and I need to cut it short for today. But guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got the metal base up. We need to start cranking away on turrets and bullets, of course. Uh, my personal preference is to not really start any wars that I can't, when I can't defend myself. So before I really get into too much PvP, I do like to have at least a base with some modest defenses going but anyway guys i hope you enjoy the video we got this girl we got our base where things are looking up guys thanks so much for joining and we will catch you next time bye bye